Greetings, cozy, protective, moody, Cancer. My name is Eliana Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Right now, I'm going to do the March 2019 forecast for Cancer, and I am going to do a tarot reading and talk a little bit about the planets. I'm not doing full transits anymore because I'm trying to make these videos all less than 10 minutes. If you want me to bring transits back, put Cancer transits in the comments. But otherwise, I'm going to stick more to the tarot for these monthly overviews and people can call me to have their transits done. <clears throat> and um, I'm gonna flip over the cards really quickly and then go and tell you the positions. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't watched the Cancer Overview for all of 2019, go back and watch that. I posted those at the beginning of the year and it's a, a whole year overview. So um, Cancer at, um, Mm. at the um, beginning of the um, month, we find you dealing with um, the cycles of life, fate, destiny, maybe an unexpected twist of events that may have you a little off balance. Um, it could be, uh, it looks like you're feeling trapped about something, um, this month in March, um, and that is your challenge. Um, and it might be a lot of your own old ideas about a situation that are keeping you trapped in March. Um, it looks like there's an event that's going on that's significant for you in March, a celebration perhaps. Uh, what's leaving is a, um, man who is upset about something with regards to romance. Um, what could come into being is a new business opportunity, uh, a man of business. Um, what will come into being is happiness, abundance, love, good times, joy. Fears or insecurities have to do with gossip, or a message um, of bad news, perhaps. Others see you as ending a partnership in March. Towards the end of the month, it looks like you have very positive feelings about um, surrender, surrendering. Um, it could be uh, what others might consider a setback, yet you're feeling very positive about it. And at the end of the month, we see you very, being very practical, prudent, cautious, um, possibly saving money, possibly investing. Um, but you look like you're in a good financial position at the end of March, Cancer. So that's the tarot overview, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the planets. March 1st, Venus enters Aquarius, depending on where Aquarius is in your chart, um, because Venus is uh, love and creativity, and um, Aquarius is unconventionality and freedom and independence. Um, you know, you may be attracted to experiences or people that are a little off the beaten path during this time. That's until March 26th. March 5th begins our first Mercury retrograde of the year. It's in Pisces. Cancer trines Pisces. Um, so anyone who is at uh, in the late degrees of Cancer is probably really going to feel this in the beginning particularly. Um, but uh, Mercury is retrograde until the 28th. So in general, if you have any contracts to sign, if you have any procedures to get done, or any... Um, thing that requires a lot of attention and focus to details, um, get that done before March 5th or you're going to want to wait until April to get it done. Mercury retrograde this time is in Pisces. Mercury is naturally ruled by Virgo, which is very detail-oriented, which we like with communication. Um, when Mercury is in Pisces, things can get very murky. Details can get lost and cloudy and you know, um, communication can become very emotional, um, things like that. So that's what that Mercury retrograde season has in store. And 
it all depends on where that is in your chart, where it may manifest in your life. So if you're interested in knowing more about that and how to kind of like uh, surrender to Mercury, call me for a transit reading. Uh, March 6th, Uranus enters Taurus. Um, wherever that is in your chart, if it's hitting any of your personal planets, that could be a shakeup. Um, you might look to April 2018 to see what a similar situation is. Um, also, March 6th is the new moon in Pisces. If you follow me, you know that new moons are great times to set intentions that you want to manifest. It's very fertile spiritual soil for setting those intentions. Pisces is a great time to set intentions around vision, around idealism, around spirituality, um, around dance, music, poetry, um, around the feet. Um, Pisces rules all of those things, anything around mysticism. So uh, medicine as well, um, health, well-being. These are good intentions to set with the Pisces new moon to um, manifest very powerfully. And um, March 7th, Jupiter is forming a semi-sextile with Pluto. That's Jupiter and Sagittarius forming a semi-sextile with Pluto and Capricorn. And anyone who's 20 degrees to 24 degrees Capricorn is this could be an, a very influential, uh, powerful uh, person coming into your path at this time. And March 20th, the sun enters Aries. So definitely reach out to your Aries people and wish them happy birthday this season. March 21st is the full moon in Libra. This is the most romantic full moon of the year. This is a full moon for lovers. It's also a full moon for artists. It's a very creative full moon. Um, lots of rich creative potency out there to draw from under that full moon. And then um, March 24th, Jupiter and Sagittarius forms a quincunx with the North Node in Cancer. Now, this is very significant for Cancers, this aspect, because, um, you know, this is a time this year, as we've talked about before, Cancer, where you are having an opportunity to really align with your higher purpose. And around March 24th, there could be some questions for you around that, maybe some misunderstandings. Um, so um, look out for that, meditate on that. Um, and uh, let's see, March 26th, Venus enters Pisces. I love when Venus is in Pisces. I think this is a very romantic time of the year. Um, Venus is, uh, you know, creativity and romance, and, and Pisces is dreams and poetry and music and dance and, you know, mysticism. And so this is a really um, a beautiful time of the year, I think. Spring is in the air, you know? And um, Mercury goes direct March 28th, so any misunderstandings, miscommunications, things that got murky or messed up during Mercury retrograde, well, from this date forward, that stuff is probably going to start straightening out a little bit. And then um, finally, March uh, 31st, Mars enters Gemini, and Mars is our goals, and Gemini can be scattered, restless, diversified, so it may be hard to concentrate on just one thing. Our interests might start spreading in many directions uh, towards the end of the month. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for staying with me, Cancer. I finished in under 10 minutes. If you like the video, please give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a don't like. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is astrology.tarot.elianicole. And um, if you want me to get into more detail of the transits, put Cancer Transits in there. And thank you for joining me. See you soon, Cancer. Enjoy your March. Call me for your own March reading, too. Bye.